Hi everybody, welcome. And we have a fun hand to start off with, quite simple, but uh, quite interesting. So I'm playing Akol tonight, so that one no trump is 12 to 14 points. So I've got two decisions to make. One is, am I going to use Stamen to try and find a 4-4 heart fit? And if we have a 4-4 heart fit, that may be better than no trumps. And the second uh, decision we have to make is, is this hand worth bidding game or is it only worth an invitational bid to game? Remember that one no trumps 12 to 14. So we've got some choices to make here. Now, part of me, honestly, just wants to bid three no trumps. I got 12, partner's got 12 to 14. I'm very balanced. So even if we do have a heart fit, maybe three no trumps is still the better spot. That's one um, thing. But I don't love the hand. Four triple three with only 12 high card points and North has also only promised 12. So if we've got 24 points between the two hands, uh, I've got no tens, I've got no, not really much in the way of middle cards, then three no trumps may just be too high. So uh, what do you guys reckon? You, are we going to use stamen to look for a heart fit? And if we do use, or regardless of whether we use stamen or not, we then have to decide whether we're going to just invite to game, whatever North does, or whether we bid three no trumps straight away. So make your decision. Uh, I'm actually going to bid stamen. Now, I often don't with four triple three hands, four, four card suit and three three card suits. But the heart suit's so good and the spade suit's so weak. So I'm going to try. I can't believe it. We've got a heart fit. That never happens. All right. So we've got a heart fit. That doesn't necessarily mean that um, four hearts or three hearts is going to be better than no trumps. But we've got a heart fit. That makes my hand a little bit better. Having a heart fit, I think I'm just going to bid four hearts now. I could bid three hearts as a further invitation, but let's try four. What have we got here? Well, we're probably in a touch, maybe a touch high. So we've got two diamonds to lose. We've got maybe a heart to lose and maybe a spade to lose. So we're, we're, see how we go, ace of diamonds, three of diamonds, really? Ace then the three, that seems odd to me. Surely if East had ace king, she would have led the ace and the king, so I'm just gonna play low, king, okay. That doesn't really help me that much because uh, I still I still have a spade to lose. Now I have to take the spade finesse here because I've got four club tricks in the north hand to throw one of my spades. And I've got the queen of diamonds to throw the other sp a spade in the north hand, but I can't avoid a spade. Eventually I'm going to have to take the spade finesse. So I either need this spade finesse to work or I need to lose no hearts. I don't think there's anything else flash I could do. I could win. No, I just got to try the queen. Okay, so we're going to need the heart on side. Oh, 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 okay, interesting. How about that? So we can over rough. Now that's West rough low. So I can over rough. Now we're still going to finesse the heart, so we're going to cash ace king. Seems odd that West rough low there. I mean, he could have roughed with the queen if he'd had it. So I have a sneaking suspicion that East must have the queen of hearts. going to finesse? I don't think we're going to finesse now, are we? Let's just play the ace and hope the hearts drop. Yep, 
here we go. Nah, no. Okay, so we're always down. West had, West had that um, Queen of Hearts. Uh, let's just take a look at the end. So we're going to lose. Actually, I better just. Yeah, I'll just draw the last. I'll just get rid of those trumps. Doesn't matter what we do now. So we can win the ace. Cross to the king of clubs. Eight of hearts throwing a spade and then just play the clubs from the north end. So a little bit of an unlucky hand. Um, the west had the queen of hearts and east had the king of spades. So both our finesses lost. And uh, let's just have a look there. So queen of hearts was offside. King of spades was offside. I think it's a reasonable game to be in, but it just, with those both those finesses losing, we never had much of a chance. <coughs> Excuse me. And look, the thing with, especially with duplicate bridge, is we're likely to be in a similar contract to everybody else, and we played it the same way as everybody else, probably. So this is the interesting thing and fun thing about duplicate bridge is we still get a perfectly average score because we did the same as everybody else. It doesn't matter if we make our game or don't make our game. If we do the same thing as everybody, then we get an okay score. So that's all kind of normal, I guess. Normal sort of a hand in the end. Six, seven, eight, nine high card points. Um, so that is a pass and welcome everybody i'm really always so happy to have everybody join in um it's a lot of fun and i hope you guys enjoy these things as well uh gosh look at everyone here tonight sunil barbara sb of course dawn you heard it john q from star trek awesome phil terence mary jim diana susan um really nice having you all here so pass, 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 one no trump. I'm still playing um, Akol, so that's 12 to 14. Now, I'm stuck. Um, I can't do anything here. I, I certainly can't use Stamen on this hand because if I bid two clubs and North bids two diamonds, then I'm just, I've got nothing I can do. I can't leave North and two diamonds. I can't bid two spades because I've only got four of them. And I can't bid two no trumps. So one no trump, if I bid two clubs and north bids two diamonds or two hearts, if I bid two no trumps on the second round, I'm showing 11 or 12 points, the same as I would be had I bid one no trump, two no trumps directly. So with Stamen, we need enough points to invite to game or we need some sort of a hand where we don't care what North does. But I care what North does here, so all I can do is pass. And we're in a perfectly reasonable contract. So we're going to make a couple of hearts. See how we go on the club. So we got some work to do. We have some work to do. Nine of hearts, what's that all about? Nine, King Jack, 10, nine, hmm. Nine of hearts. It seems like an odd lead. I mean, it could be East's fourth highest heart, but that would mean she led the nine from King Jack, 10, nine. Well, from King Jack, 10, nine, the normal lead would be the Jack, top of an interior sequence. So not quite sure what's happened there. Um, anyway, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna tackle the club suit. So. Let's play the queen. Don't really want the club finesse to lose and West to play a heart through. That would be not too good if East does have King Jack 10 9. But, ugh. yeah, here comes the heart. Yep, there, there you go. That's what we didn't want. So it does look like East had King Jack 10 9. Let's play low here. 10, yeah, King Jack 10, 9, almost certainly. Oh, diamond switch, interesting. Okay, so that's given us a diamond trick. Another heart. Pretty sure East started with King Jack 10, 9 now. So East had King Jack, what did I say? King, yeah, King Jack of hearts. 
Um, what did West have over there? So West started with the King of Clubs, the Ace of Diamonds at seven. And remember, pass, pass, pass. So uh, Ace of Diamonds and King of Clubs at seven. Mm. Yeah. I think East has probably got the Ace of Spades. I'm not sure here. What are we going to do now? We're going to, we've got a couple of tricks. We've got, we can set up another club trick probably. We've got a diamond. So one, two, three, four, five. The trouble is if we set the clubs up, then they're just going to attack diamonds and we're going to end up losing three diamonds and two hearts. Club is six, spade is seven. I think I want to finesse the spade, set up three spade tricks. Potentially we can set up three spade tricks. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to hook this. I'm going to finesse the spade. Oh, ace. Oh, well, there we go. So that's the ace is sort of no surprise. We, we sort of thought East probably had the ace of spades because West had already shown up with the um, king of clubs and the ace of diamonds. Uh, okay, good, good, good. All right, so we can throw a club now. There goes the spade from West. That's good news. Uh, let's play Ace of Clubs. You never know the luck. Jack of Clubs might drop. Doesn't. So over to the King of Spades. And we've got two spades. So we're going to end up making one. And we've just got that club to lose at the end. Oh, yeah. All right. Here's all four hands. Uh, I what do you who like I like these low level contracts. I find they're much more interesting than um, the higher contracts. Okay, who wants to play a grand slam? Grand slams are boring. You just you know you've either got thirteen tricks or you haven't got thirteen tricks a lot of the time. <laughs> but these low level contracts, I find them much more fun because we can. There's a bit of back and forth going on there, and um, yeah, I think they're more interesting to play. What do you think? What's your favourite contract? Okay, uh, let's play hand three anyway. Five high card points, that's an easy pass. Pass, pass, one diamond, so still passing. One spade, two, now North comes in with two hearts, okay. Pass, 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 one diamond, pass, one spade, two hearts. All right, we never know, we might buy this. Two spades. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I don't love the hand. Fourth, triple three shape. I know we've got a nine card heart fit, but um, four triple three is not a beautiful shape. No roughing value. There's no shortage in my hand to rough anything, but I don't really want to defend two spades. Um, yeah, great. Okay, so this looks pretty good. And certainly defending two spades would have been bad. Uh, let's just look at the auction here. And West has bid one spade and then two spades. So West probably has, I suspect West has got ace, queen, sixth of spades, and that's a singleton king, probably. Maybe doubleton king and West has got ace, queen, fifth, but probably West has got a six-card suit. So East and West would make six spade tricks, a diamond, some number of clubs. Uh, so even if we're down, and we're almost certainly going to be down one, uh, this is better than defending their two spade contract. All right, so as suspected, um, the fact that East didn't play another spade means pretty sure that she had a singleton spade there. The heart suit looks pretty straightforward. We've got 10 hearts, so we're only missing three, but we do need to be just a touch careful because it's possible 
small chance, but it's possible that one player is void in hearts and the other player has three. Now, if that's the case, we can, we're still going to be okay because we could play ace of hearts and then we've got the king jack sitting over potentially west's three card suit or we could play the king of hearts and if east has got three hearts and west has got none we could play the king of hearts then we've got the jack 10 in the north hand and the ace in the south hand so we can still finesse east if she's got three trumps but we've got to cash one of those honors or cash we've got to take one of those honors first we've got to either take the ace first or take the king first Again, if the suit breaks 2-1, there's no problem. All we've got to think about is what happens if one player has got three hearts. So who is more likely to have three-card heart suit? Is East more likely to have a three-card heart suit? Or is West more likely to have a three-card heart suit? Now, let's just have a look at the auction again. One diamond and then whispered one spade and two spades. It looks to me like West has got six spades and East has got one, and East has got five or six diamonds and West has got two or three. So there's just slightly more chance that East has got the three-card heart suit. Okay, no difference. Um, so it looks like... Um, East had the doubleton and West had the singleton. So nothing much to do there. So let's just play. We're going to end up losing two clubs and two spades. Unless, yeah, here we go. Ace of spades. Yeah, queen of spades. So we're actually down two, which still should be a good score. We're maybe a touch lucky that... Um, the opposition didn't double us. Um, hang on, where am I? On the north hand. I think this should be an okay score still. I suspect some people will be... It's not. Look at that, 18%. Wow. I wonder what everyone did on that hand. I'm curious now. 300 trumps by east-west uh, getting too high. I see. 112 players defended. 300 trumps by east-west. Really? Oh, well, there we go. That's life. That's uh, match point pairs for you. Let's nothing much we can do about that. I'm happy enough with our bidding. Um, East and West must have just got a little bit carried away. Uh, say no more. All right. Once they pass three diamonds. Okay. So what's that three diamond bid mean? This depends on your partnership agreement. Now, uh, some people play, some partnerships use that as a weak bid. So a six card diamond suit and just a very weak hand. Some players play it as a strong hand, 16, 17, 18 or more points with a good diamond suit. Quite a few players use these jump shifts as a sort of a, some sort of a trump raise. So. Um, one spade, three diamonds for some people will actually show spade support and a hand of some strength, but we're not doing that. The, the Skybridge Club computer actually plays strong jump shifts here. So for East, that's a strong jump. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just what your agreement with your partners are. So uh, SB saying weak jump. Yep. Uh, Cyril calling it weakness, yep, Heather, preempt, yep, that's a uh, common, common way to play, no right or wrong, it's just that the computer set up to play that as a strong jump shift, so one spade, three diamonds, three spades, three no trumps, East is going to have a whole bunch of diamonds and a strong hand, so I'll lead a club, I'm not greatly hopeful of anything marvellous happening, but let's talk. I am hopeful. Well, that's awesome. So we actually get the first uh, six tricks. So East and West are in the wrong contract. Maybe West could have bid the spades again. 
shed, but maybe. Um, not much to do here. I guess I play a heart. I'm sure that's all we're going to get. What do you think of the West Hand? Should West have repeated the spades, put the spades at the third time? One spade, three diamonds, three spades, three no trumps. West had seven of them. That Let's just be sure about one thing. That three no trumps there is not a sign off. It's not necessary. East isn't saying stop. East is just saying I've got a whole bunch of diamonds. I've got a strong hand. Three no trumps might be the right contract. But uh, West doesn't have to pass just because East has bid game. So I think West could probably bid the spades again. I must say from the East hand, I'd also be tempted. I, in fact, I would have supported the spades on the second round. So one spade, three diamonds, three spades. I think East can with King eight of spades can afford to uh, support the spades there. One last comment is that I would not have made a strong jump shift with that east hand. I think the part of the problem for east and west here is that east was too keen to make that jump shift showing the strong hand and in this case, because East had a five-card suit and a four-card heart suit and partial support for spades, East really would have been better to give herself a bit more room to explore. Instead of showing a strength, East would have been a bit better to start showing her shape, which she could have done by bidding two diamonds and then hearts and supporting the spades and so on. So... Um, should West have opened two spades? For me, that's a bit too strong for a two spade bid or even a three spade bid. I, I don't mind the one spade. I think that uh, I just don't think East, I don't think the jump shift was right there. So we always have to decide, are we going to show our strength or are we going to show our shape? I think I like, I really think you should, the shapes first. You can always show the strength later. Uh, Phil's saying I led the six of clubs and the computer led back a diamond. Yes, the, com the computer's set up to play fourth highest, so I led the seven of clubs here. Regardless, though, the computer really should return a club, Phil. Sometimes this is one of the little, um, what's the word to call it, um, quirks of the computers they have a mind of their own sometimes one actually one last important thing on this hand it doesn't make no difference but notice that north won the king of clubs and then returned the three so again no difference but north was totally correct there having won the king when you're returning partner's suit with a doubleton return the top card so north was correct to play the king and then then return the three not the two. Okay, good. Let's play the next hand. Hand five, six, seven high card points. One no trump again. Okay, now this time, uh, it's funny these hands are coming up. It's a total coincidence, but I've been um, talking, having discussions about these hands recently. And here... We don't seem to be strong enough for one no, for Stamen because if I bid two clubs, if North bids two diamonds, I'm not strong enough to bid two no trumps. But what I can do here is I can bid two clubs. If North bids two diamonds, I bid two hearts. And North will know I've got both majors. Now, some people would go one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts with a five card suit five card heart suit and a four card spade suit. It's a reasonably common um, method, crawling stamen to open, to do this with two four card suits. 
So imagine I had four hearts and four spades here. Now, I just made a video about this a short while ago. If I bid two clubs, North bids two diamonds. If I have two four card suits, I bid two hearts. And North will now have got two four card suits and we end up playing in a four three fit. North can choose which major suit he wants. So if you're not familiar with that, I won't go on too much about it here because there's a video on the Skybridge Club YouTube channel, um, just a recent one, and check that out. So this is good. We've got a spade fit, and that's certainly high enough. So we've only got seven high card points. The singleton diamond is good, but it's still not enough to go any higher. So I can just pass here. Now, I could have bid two hearts straight away or transferred into two hearts, but with both majors, I want to try and find a fit, which is why I went through stamen here. Okay, good. So this is great. We've been, we're in a 4 4 speed fit. We had a 5 3 heart fit as well, as it happens. And club lead. Yeah, so. Yeah, Barry's. Um, that's basically it, Barry. That's what we're doing. We've, we've got a. We've, we've got an out. That's the most important thing. Is uh, it doesn't matter what partner does, we've got some second bid we can make. Uh, Jim's saying, when is 12 points for a no trump opening bad versus good 12 points? Ah, good, interesting question, Jim. Let's wait, let's have a quick chat about that at the end of the hand. Okay, so uh, looks like East has led fourth highest club, probably, so... Uh, it might be a singleton, but might not. I, don't, I suspect I'm going to lose a club, three hearts, and maybe a spade or two. So I'm going to... I don't really want to play spades. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here, but I was a little bit tempted just to... I'm just going to play some hearts. Got to lose those sometime anyway, and let's win the ace. Let's play another heart. Rough. Let's play another heart. Rough. So this is sort of good news. My hearts are set up so I can throw away one of my clubs now. The only problem is I haven't drawn trumps yet, so we've got to deal with that trump suit. Um, I guess I can take a double finesse. Not loving this. West has already shown up with uh, Ace, King, Queen of Hearts. I'm just going to hope West has got the Jack of Spades. He doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, King of Spades. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. Awesome. So we can play the Nine of Spades, drawing the last trump, cross over to the King of Clubs, Ace of Clubs, and play the Heart, throwing away a club. So that's awesome. So um, can't really, uh, there's no exact rule for how to play this hand. I actually, to be honest, I don't know if I played it well or not. The only thing I, looking at the hand, I didn't, there didn't seem to be any rush to draw trumps. There didn't seem to be any advantage in drawing trumps quickly. And I had those three hearts to lose sometime anyway. So I thought I'd just do it and see what happened. Um, we got a little lucky in the end. Um, but so there you go. Again, these low-level part score contracts, there's more more chance to sort of something. All right, so uh Jim is saying when is 12 points for a no trump opening bad versus a good 12 points? A lot of it is to do with the middle cards, Jim. Actually, let me just leave that question there. So if you've got 12 high card points made up of the aces, kings, queens, 
jacks, that's great. But those tens and nines, they make a big difference. Uh, sixes and sevens, I mean, they're better than twos and threes. We don't score, we don't count points for tens, nines, and eights, and sevens, but they are better than sixes, fives, fours, threes, and twos. So that's one thing to consider. Um, the other thing, too, is uh, I always look at the vulnerability. I'm not bust on opening even average 12 point balanced hands, one no trump, but I don't mind pushing the boat out a little bit, not vulnerable. Yeah, you know, five card suit, 12 points in five card suit, that all helps. But I would say, if anything, it's the middle cards, it's the it's the intermediate cards, the tens and nines and eights that probably should sway you one way or the other. Another one, no trump opening. All right, so that's a pass, of course. Two clubs, so that's Stamen, two hearts, four card heart suit, three no trumps, pass, pass, pass. All right, what does West have? Tell me about West's hand on this auction. And therefore, oops, actually, tell me about East's hand on this auction. What do we know about the East and West hands? My voice is gone. Uh, is my voice still there? Can anybody still hear me? Sonny was saying my voice is gone. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to carry on and hope my voice is still there. So what we know about the... Okay, so what we know about the West hand is West has got a four-card spade suit. Because if West had... The only reason West bid two clubs in the first place was that he had a four-card major and he was looking to try and find a fit. So West showed four-card heart suit and West said three no trump, so West wasn't interested in the heart suit. So West has got a four-card spade suit. East has got a four-card heart suit, but she does not have a four-card spade suit. Okay. So remember, West has shown a four-card spade suit. Otherwise, he wouldn't have bothered bidding Stamen. So West has got a four-card spade suit. Everybody knows West has got a four-card spade suit. East knows West has got a four-card spade suit. And East did not bid four spades. So East has got a four-card heart suit, but not a four-card spade suit. So it's our lead. Now, what are we going to lead? I'm not leading a heart for sure. Uh, I don't mind a club. Don't love it. Don't mind a diamond. Don't love it. I don't. It wouldn't be awful to lead a spade, knowing that West has got spades and East doesn't. It's sort of a safe lead. We could do that. Um, I'm just going to lead a club. Queen, four, three, two. Oh, ace, ten. Okay, well, that's good. So East almost certainly started with four hearts and three clubs. Okay, we, we, we've we almost got East shape now. So um, give me one. Let's just draw this out because we know that East over here, we know that East... From what's going on in the club suit, we know East has got started with three clubs. That's the only thing that makes sense. And we know East started with four hearts because of the bidding. And we know North started with either two, sorry, sorry, East started with two or three or four spades because of the one no trump opening. But the fact that East didn't bid four spades means that she hasn't got four. So East is either two, four, four, three shape or three, four, three, three shape. So all we've got to do is we only need a little bit more information and we've got the whole hand. But we do know that East has got either four diamonds or three diamonds. That makes sense, how that logic of that, that approach, just using the shapes, as I always keep talking about, to figure out the hands. 
Uh, okay. All right. So we follow suit here. Club. And North has pitched a heart, which was probably not North's best card. Okay, so North threw a heart there, which almost certainly was a mistake because North started with four hearts and now he's only got three. And East has got a four card heart suit. So that was probably a mistake from North. That was definitely a mistake. Yeah, so that's bad. All right, so at least we know East, East, East's shape now so east has just followed to the third round of speeds so we know that east was three four three three shape to start with okay i hope you can all see that how that logic goes and east has pitched two hearts oh gosh well i hope east has got a heart on her There's probably not much point in keeping the hearts now. Mm, I don't really want to throw a diamond. Queen, King, Ace. Yeah, I've got to throw a diamond. Yeah, all right. So, um, yeah. So East, uh, East just threw too many hearts. So that heart is now a winner. And we get two at the end. All right, so not so good. Uh, North, that was really a mistake from North there. No other way to put it. When East, let's just remember the auction. I know Trump, two clubs, two hearts. So North knows, look at this from the North point of view. North started with four hearts and knows East started with four hearts from the bidding can see two in the dummy, knows I started with three, so North really needs to hang on to that heart to, to protect that heart suit. Um, but it's life, you know, bridge is hard. It's hard. We all make mistakes. And there's East hand 3433 three, three shape as, whoops, as we um, calculated, as we worked out. Not that it made any difference to us. Diamond lead would have been good, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, let's play the next hand. Hand seven. Ten. Finally, not a one no trump opener. Uh, we could. It's, you know, sometimes five, three, three, two hands are okay to open a no trump, even with a five card major. But now this hand's too strong, even though it's 14 high card points so come come back to what jim was saying wherever it was early on can't remember i can't find it. anyway jim was talking earlier about good hands and bad hands so i'm not going to open a no trump on this hand i'm actually going to open a hard but let's look at this we've got 14 high card points but this is a good 14 high card points because for three reasons. One, the 10, 9, 8 of clubs. Now, we don't score any points for the 10, 9, 8. They, we don't actually count them as anything, but that's so much better than the 4, 3, 2. Just imagine partners got um, even the jack of clubs. Actually, let's, let's get my drawing back again. Uh, so we've got uh, in the club suit we've got 10 9 8 imagine partner we don't know but imagine partner had jack 4 3 2 we've got a guaranteed trick jack 10 9 8 all we have to lose is the 10 9 8 and then the jack is guaranteed to make a trick but imagine we had uh 4 3 2 and North had Jack 765. Doesn't look so good, does it? Not, we're pretty borderline for making a 
trick there. So those 10, 9, 8 cards, they really count for a lot, um, especially with balanced hands. We've got a five card heart suit. So it's, yeah, it's 14 points, but it's got a five card heart suit. So that's worth more than 14 points. And we've got ace, king, queen of hearts, points in the long suit. So that's going to make it much easier to win a trick out of that five of hearts. That five of hearts looks pretty good, doesn't it? How good is the six of spades? Um, not so, you know, it's not really, we're not loving the six. We don't mind the six of spades, but we're not expecting to get a trick out of it. But the five of hearts, we're pretty hopeful of getting a trick out of it because it's in a long suit in which we've got the ace, king, queen. So lots of hand evaluation is so much more than just counting your points. You always want to be upgrading and downgrading. Mostly people like upgrading. <laughs> who, who downgrades? Not many, right? We all love upgrading, but yeah, sometimes we do actually have to downgrade a hand too. Okay, what's next? All right, so now I'm going to, I am having opened a heart, a heart and remember I'm playing alcohol. So I'm actually going to pretend I've got 15 points. So alcohol, my second tuna trumpet here shows 15. I've only got 14, but I love this hand. There's 14, but worth so much more than 14. And well, as it happens, the five of hearts isn't such a great card. We're going to lose four diamond tricks and we're probably going to lose the club as well. So in fact, we're probably going to go down on this hand. So much for my hand evaluation. <laughs> we do have a small chance. There's a, just this little, little chance here. Queen, yeah, it's not really what I was hoping for. What I'm going to do, am I? No, I'm kind of stuck. 10. Well, I can take a double club finesse. I just have to hope. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, play the six of spades, cross to the ace of hearts, run the ten of clubs, and if east doesn't switch to a diamond, I'm going to take another club finesse because I've got the nine and the eight, and I'm just going to hope I'm going to hope that West has got at least one of the club honours and that East doesn't find the diamond switch. So here we go. I didn't find the diamond switch, so so far so good. Uh, I'm going to throw a diamond. Now I'm going to... Actually, I don't need to take the club finesse now, do I? Uh, but I need to take the club for this now. I can just cash the. Did I play that right? Should I have cashed the ace of clubs and then run the club? I'm not sure. Uh, I think I can probably just run the club tricks. Let's play. Do we want to do that? I think we probably do. Okay, we're going to be okay. I don't know what I was talking about, taking the double finesse. Sorry, that was just wrong. That was just wrong. I was never going to take the double club finesse. Don't know what I was talking about. I think I should have probably taken the ace of clubs first. Um, sorry, let me just finish this hand. Ace of spades, queen of hearts. So we're going to make, I'm not sure how, I think I might've misplayed that. Actually, they threw all their hearts as well, didn't they? So I, total, I totally misplayed their hand. I wasn't watching what was going on. I have a funny feeling. I'm, would, would I have been better to play the ace of clubs and then run the 10? No, because then I've got no entries. No, no, no sorry. I, I was, what I did was right. I had to lose the club early and then um, 
run the club. So we the only we got lucky here because East didn't switch to the Diamonds when she was in with the Jack of Clubs. So there we go. All right. So my hand evaluation, uh, I kind of I kind of got lucky. I still I don't mind calling it fifteen. And we did have 25 points between the two hands. Well, no, we didn't. We had 24. <laughs> I think I better just play the next hand. Let's, uh, yeah, let's move on. I don't think that was, was not my finest hour or my finest eight minutes. One heart, two clubs. Uh, I'm just going to pass. If I bid two spades, we're just going to get too high. So I'll just pass. I can always bid again later, which I'll do now. Fine. Okay, well, there we go. What was that auction? A heart, two clubs, pass, pass, double. Doubles for takeout, by the way. Double there, one heart, two clubs, pass, pass, pass. That is a double for takeout. So uh, that's all normal. West has opened a heart, so he'll have at least four, maybe five hearts. And what we can probably do here is just I've got a whole bunch of hearts to lose. So I'm going to play Ace of Diamonds, quickly take a couple of spades, throwing away a diamond. And now I'm just going to play hearts. I have to lose these hearts sometime anyway. But at least I might be I might get to rough. Oh, so we're set a four card heart suit. Now, kind of good news here is that the nine of clubs, North had ace, queen, jack, ten, nine. So if I play a heart here, if east. So if I get to rough one more heart, my hearts are up, but I can't actually. Well, I can rough a club. I think the club finesse, I think this is probably going to win. Yep. Now I can rough again. East doesn't seem to be able to over rough. Uh, looks like the club finesse is working i think the club finesse is working because east kicks roughing low so uh, let's just finesse the club and we end up <laughs> with a somewhat uh, lucky Um, what do we make there? Uh, 11 tricks in that club thing. So just look at that club suit. Ace, queen, jack, 10, 9, and we had 8, 5, 2. So we're basically only missing the king. So poor old East was not able to uh, rough high enough to stop me roughing those clubs. Playing the roughing with the 3 let me over rough with the 5. East would have been better to rough with the 6. Um, Anyway, there we go. Sunil saying, why not draw trumps first? Well, then I'm going to be left with all those heart losers. If I draw trumps, I'm going to end up having to lose four heart tricks. So I want to uh, play the hearts first so I get to rough some of the... Um, sorry, play the hearts first so I get to rough some of the hearts before drawing trumps. Right, uh, nine, hand nine, 10 high card points, one spade. No, nothing to do here. Nothing to do here. Just not good enough to overcall at the two level. One spade, two hearts. So East has got five spades and four hearts. Pass. Now what to lead? Interesting lead problem here. 
Uh, not leading a speed, that's their suit. Not leading a heart, that's East suit. I could lead a diamond, but I don't really want to get roughs. I don't really want to rough anything because my spade is going to make a trick anyway. I'm going to lead a club. And East is, North is playing spades to stop declare a roughing hearts, which may well be a cunning. Well, it was cunning. It was definitely cunning. We just don't know if it was a good idea or not yet. Club, club. Hmm. So East, let's just look at the auction again. One spade, two hearts. And East is now shown up with two clubs. So East was either... Well, East could still be a few things, but East is probably something like five spades, four hearts, two diamonds and two clubs, something like that. Now we could, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to play a club here because I know North is going to be able to rough. Declare is going to over rough. Is that a sensible thing to do or should I play a heart? I think yeah, I don't really want to do anything. I don't certainly don't want to play hearts. I could play ace of hearts and another heart, hoping that North has only got two hearts. I don't really want to play a club. If I play a club, North's going to play the 10. A West will play the 10. Queen doesn't matter. East will rough. North will rough and East will over rough. Let's actually do this. Rough. Ten of spades. Interesting. Okay. Oh. This gets a little interesting now because we know for sure that East was five spades, four hearts, two diamonds, and two clubs. Uh, because he's East has shown up with played two rounds of diamonds. So we can rough this. Now, East sort of, the Clara sort of can't get to the diamond suit now, but what am I going to lead? Don't, I'm going to be in the same boat. I can lead another club and North can rough, but the Clara is just going to over rough, put me on lead, and I'm going to be in the same boat. Although, in fact, no, 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 actually, no, this is good. I can play another club. North will rough again. Uh, and finally, I'm going to get to play another club. Now, I think I can probably play low here. Oh, rats. I couldn't. Oh, that's so annoying. North couldn't beat the ten of hearts. Ah, disappointing. Disappointing. That is disappointing. Funny old hand. Funny old hand. What do you think? There was, there was another interesting. These these little low level hands really are interesting. So again, I'm, to be honest, I'm not really sure if I defended that sensibly or not. But once again, we've got we get east shape pretty quickly. We're not doing a whole lot of counting. It's my little pet topic. We're not doing a lot of counting. But we are quickly able to work out the shape of the remaining hands, just looking for those clues. That was interesting here. Actually, North might have been better to play the jack of clubs on the first round there, not the ace, when I led low. Um, North could play the jack, and then the ace of clubs might have been better. Okay, anyway, let's play next hand. Hand 10, lucky last. One heart. So this is a pass. When I was very young, <laughs> I might have wanted to do something crazy with this spade suit here, but I'm just not that young anymore. And so it's just a clear cut pass. I just don't want to be playing this hand. Once again, West has bid three diamonds. Uh, and I'm just going to pass. So that's strong again. 
Pass, pass, pass. Club 10. What a North East had 16. East is probably a little timid there. Uh, with 16, West is showing 16. Let's just look at the auction again. One heart, three diamonds, four diamonds, five diamonds. That three diamonds is showing a strong hand, 16 or so. And East also started with 16. Maybe East could have bid one for the road there. But that's not our problem. Oh, well, there we go. Look at that. Get to rough. Probably doesn't matter too much what we do now. So that was a good lead from North. Okay. Just put, just doing nothing here. I'm just following suit or not following suit randomly. Nothing we can do. And let's have a look at all four hands. So, all right. So, yeah, slam. Look at that diamond suit. Dawn's saying three diamonds could be a weak jump shift. Just depends on your system, Dawn. Some people play it as weak. Some people show play it as strong. Um, East and West are playing it as strong. Notice that East and West have got a nine-card diamond fit. Nine-card diamond fit missing the queen. Percentage play there is actually to play the ace and then the king, hoping the suit's either 2-2 two, two or... Um, that the queen drops singleton. So taking that first round finesse to clear a, did not play that diamond suit optimally. Better to play the ace king. With an eight card diamond fit missing the queen, sure, it's okay to finesse, but nine card diamond uh, fit missing the queen, definitely ace king here. And that would have also stopped me from getting that club rough. So that was a costly mistake from West there to give us um, a couple of tricks. And there we go. So thank you, everybody. That was uh, always fun. Always really great to have you with us on Monday nights. And I will look forward to seeing you all same time next week. Good night, all. Thank you.